I had a moment where I felt so connected with one of the characters from this week's Torah portion that I shudder to think about it. In this week's parasha of Parashat Shalach, Moses sends 12 spies into the land of Israel. As we know from the story, the conclusion was not great. The spies came back with a negative report. The people panicked and it ended up that they will be cursed to wonder for 40 years. But two characters came back with positives, Joshua and Caleb. And in the story, we have a description of how the spies traveled into the land. And then the Torah changes the language and says, when it came to the arrival at the city of Hebron, Vayavo ad Hebron, he came to Hebron. Only one of the, of the 12 took time out from the journey to go to the city of Hebron. Who was that? It was Kalev. Kalev went to Hebron to go and pray at the graves of the ancestors, the grave of Avram, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. He needed that connection because he was surrounded by forces that were telling him that the land is not right for the Jewish people. You don't need this land. Leave it for somebody else. Go somewhere else. We can stay in the desert. We can have life there without the inconvenience of being in the land. But Kalev understood that the land of Israel is connected spiritually in essence with the soul of the Jewish people. And so he heads to Hebron. And there he prayed at the tomb for a divine protection that he would not sway in his mission no matter what the majority was saying. I had the same experience on a trip recently to Israel. As I was on the plane, I felt I have to get to Hebron. I have to go to the tomb of the patriarchs, Avram, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. Every day I'm being bombarded by messages via Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and, and social media and the media itself, mainstream media, about how dare the Jewish people be in the land of Israel. I needed to go back to the source. And so, hopped on a bus with a guide and my father to go to Hebron. And when you arrive at Hebron, you see a towering structure at the cave of the Machpelah. This structure was built by none other than Herod the Great over 2,000 years ago over the site of the tomb of the patriarchs. And there, standing in front of me as I was walking up the steps, the guide pointed out, you see over there, you see that corner? That is where Jews were allowed to go. For 800 years, Jews were barred from entering the tomb of the Machpelah the cave. And it was only after 1967 that we were allowed to walk inside that building. And so we walked into the building and there in front of us are big memorials to Abram and Sarah, Jacob and Leah, and in a sealed of room, Isaac and Rebecca. My grandparents are here. And I sit down with my father and we recite prayers to heal him, Psalms. Prayers that we've been reciting for thousands of years when they were authored by King David in the very land. And I'm feeling this connection with my father next to me to the generations that go before me. And I walked out of the cave, walked out of the Machpelah feeling invigorated and reconnected. This is our land. This is where my people are. This is where I pray every single day towards the land of Israel, towards Jerusalem. And no matter the shrills of the demonstrators and the hatred being spewed on social media, this is my home because this is where my grandparents are buried. I felt at that moment, I understand you, Kalev. Kalev, my heart is like your heart. Kalev needed to go to the cave of Machpelah in Hebron to connect. And with that connection, he was able to stand strong 
in the face of the onslaught of negativity. I too walked out of that cave empowered to face up to no matter what the world wants to say and what the haters want to hate and shrill at me. This is my home, my land, my people. Hi, this is Rabbi Lua, and if you've enjoyed the content of the sermons and the ideas that have been expressed in the YouTube video, please hit that first subscription button and notification bell and share the videos with friends. We'd love to grow the channel and love to engage with you. Please share your comments in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. Have an amazing day.